What's up guys, my name is Caden. I've been skateboarding for four years and today I'm gonna to be going over my top 10 skate essentials. Number one is the helmet. I know it's a controversial topic because when I got on Hall of Meat last year for dislocating my elbow off of a handrail, half the comments were like, oh, thank God he was wearing his helmet. And the other half were like, if he wasn't wearing that helmet, then he wouldn't have happened. I used to be self-conscious about wearing the helmet because it's like, oh, like they're so cool because they don't wear a helmet and they skate, but it's like, dude, it's either your life or like you're dead, like skate or die, but like wear your f***ing helmet. That one dude, uh, Andy Anderson from the Braille team is the only guy that wears a helmet and he's 10 times better than the rest of them. Number two is your skateboard. Make sure to go to your local skate shop for your first, uh, just any skateboard in general, go to your local skate shop. Cause zoomies? Uh. Number three is the skate tool. These are way better than a wrench and a screwdriver. These are both the uh, silver brand T-Tool. This one has the little uh, screwdriver type beat. And then this one, I actually lost it because this one got a long time ago. This one I got off Amazon. A lot cooler color, honestly. This one was from Zoomies. Uh. Chris Chan actually put me on this silver brand back in the day, back when I started skating. So I'm gonna put you guys on this silver brand T-Tool. Best there is. Number four is our wax. You can get wax from the skate shop uh, online, or you can even make it yourself by melting down candle wax. Uh, this one I found literally just on the ground at a uh, high school when I was skating. And this even, someone made this to where it has a little handle so you can just rub across your grinding surface. And then um, also I got this one from a skate box, the Fun Box Monthly, highly recommend those. You can look that up. And then this one, I don't know where I got, but all of them work just the same. There's different recipes with the uh, homemade types. Number five is your hardware. So this is kind of more of a broad category because there could be a lot of different situations where you just need to have uh, skate gear on hand, like your bearing might just fall off of your wheel and you need a new one. Um, and then hardware could just like snap off. Two of them could snap off and your whole truck just freaking falls off. It's ridiculous. But that's why make sure you have your T-tool to keep them tight. Number six is duct tape. So let's say you're skating and suddenly you feel a light breeze down by your ankle and wha-bam! What do you do? You take your duct tape and all you're gonna do is rip some off. Take your shoe off, obviously, before you do this. You just do it like that. Good as new. You can go back to a heel flip in that five rolling away and getting the clip. Make sure to do more than one layer just to make sure your grip doesn't rip through the duct tape too quickly. Number seven is your water. You gotta stay hydrated, especially when it's hot. Like there's been sometimes I've been skating and I'll just literally like eat it. And then suddenly I'll just be like getting heat flashes and I'll be like, oh, where am I? And then it's just like, not good, you gotta stay hydrated. Number eight, gotta have your food, gotta have your energy. Make sure it's not just some freaking candy. You gotta have a banana, some cheese. Just gotta keep that protein up. Number nine is your audio. Now, if you're just having a loner sesh, might as well pop in the wires or grabbing the pods when you don't feel like smashing your phone while it's in your pocket. Or if you're ha having a session with the homies, just grab a speaker. This one is actually uh, magnetic, I really like it. Number 10 is your backpack. And this can go to a wide variety of options. Like you could have a simple drawstring, just do it. Or 
we got this nice big and bulky independent truck company backpack it's got a skateboard straps and everything and it's really up to you and it's like if you got a car just use your car but like no because you could be up in the spot and then the cops pull up you gotta have all your stuff ready to go and get the heck out of there instead of having all your stuff light out then you could have it in your backpack ready to go from one spot to the next This has been my 10 skate essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.